Hello everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play The Simpsons! There's a vertical sandwich! We just got barred over to the switch to open stuff up, and... <clears throat> actually, what we should be doing is putting this thing here for Lisa to jump across, but we can actually just die with her. And it'll pop her over by where Bart is. See, so... Because we just have to run around here to advance. So... Um, okay, so this actually should be the last. We're pretty close to confronting God, who is the final boss in this game. Um, and um, this should be the last video that is recorded on my old capture card with my old software. Hopefully. So, um, you guys should, uh, I don't know if you should be looking forward to that or what, but, um, and uh, I hope you had a good Christmas. This will come up, at, this will be posted after Christmas, actually, but... So, um, but it's some days before Christmas when I'm recording this. So. Oh, and apparently we can die stepping into those. Okay, well, whatever. All right, so take two. So, so yeah, so this is the last video of this game. This is really quick. Like, this is going to be video 20 or something? 21? I don't know. I think it's 20. They're going to be 20. Okay. So, let's try to... We can jump on here, so I don't really... I mean, there's a Lisa Buddha thing here, so we've got to get Lisa in here, right? It's got to be a way to, like, get her in here. I don't see any enemies or anything. I don't know what we have to do to open the gate. Well, we'll find it. Okay. Oh, it's right there. How did I miss that? I should have seen that earlier. Anyway, okay, so open the gate and get Lisa in here. Hooray. Hooray, I say. Hooray. Oh, and now, oh, now there's enemies. Stupid dolphins. Again, did we already discuss how much I hate dolphins? Um, I actually don't. I've, I've only seen dolphins once in my life. That was in uh, off the coast of South Carolina. So... And it was at a distance. Like, I didn't get to hang out with them or anything. It wasn't like swimming with the dolphins or they rescued me from drowning or anything. It's like I was on the beach and you could see them jumping kind of in the distance. And it was, they were pretty obviously dolphins. And there were, while I was driving into the beach, there were signs for like dolphin tours and stuff. So, so hot rock in water equals steam equals Bart, apparently, is the puzzle solving that we should have done probably two minutes ago. So, anyway. We get up here, and obviously there's stuff over here we need to do, so. Well, that may not be too obvious, but it's obvious when you're coming in that there's this space over here. Alright, so we'll get uh, we'll get Lisa going and move on to the next part of the level. Bart comes running back to us, because again, the, the AI in this game is not... I recently looked up the kind of reception of this game on, like, Wikipedia, and one of the things people did complain about was the camera stuff, so. I'm surprised people didn't complain about there wasn't complaints about the AI for the second player. But whatever. Okay. So we have to build a Starbucks. And again, the things turning in midair is just weird to me. Will always be weird to me. It just seems strange. This is also not a very prominent Simpsons joke, the whole Starbucks next to Starbucks thing. It was in one episode, I think. Wow, Benjamin Franklin, you are my intellectual hero. Please, please let us pass so we can talk to God. No way, Lisa. You're a bigger butt kisser than Thomas Jefferson. Up here, I'm judge, jury, and executioner. It's time you all learned that heaven can be a hell of a place. That doesn't seem incredibly logical. That she's like, please let us pass. And he's just like, no way, you're a big butt kisser. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. Far be it for me to uh, pick on the writing of a... What are these halos doing? Like, once Bart shoots them, they do weird stuff. Alright. Yeah, I mean, they like... Unlike everything else we've ever, you know... That Bart shoots, these things like really bounce around and stuff. 
Oh, you can stun him with Lisa's saxophone. How cool is that? That's true. Uh, he did argue at one point that uh, the turkey should be America's national bird. So. I don't know what kind of difference it would make to us now. I mean, if that had happened 200 years ago, I, I don't. I think we just think, oh, the turkey. National bird. Okay. So onward. We might still be using DDT, because, like, DDT was causing, like, shell softening in, like, eggs of large raptors, and it, the California condor and, like, the bald eagle and stuff were affected. And, like, you know, you could really mount some symbolism behind that, because, like, big birds, but, like, it didn't affect the, like, that didn't hurt the turkey, so. I, I, I don't think it did, it might have, I don't know. Okay. It's not so God plays example. video games. No wonder you never hear about God having a girlfriend. Is someone there? I don't have any money. God, it's, it's so sad. You've been playing with our lives and we'd like you to stop. Our town, family, and friends are all suffering. Yeah, God, you used to be cool. Just because I'm a gamer doesn't mean I'm not cool. Thanks. Your uneasy looks have brought my disfavor. You bunch of jerks. That's right, they're jerks. The Prey Station. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, so now we've got to face... We've got to go up against God and... I don't know, what is Worship supposed to be either Dance Dance Revolution or Guitar Hero. I think it's a Dance Dance Revolution. It's obviously the control pad looks like Dance Dance Revolution. But it's the rock me like a hurricane in the background that really makes me think Guitar Hero. So... Because it's just like the signature First song of Guitar Hero. It's like early this. Guitar Hero 3 stuff. It's so not a great song either. It's all right. It's a good Guitar Hero song. I'll give it that. Is like for uh, you know Guitar Hero has a certain. That's why when they were like Guitar Hero Beatles, and I was like, "Geez, I know that like, I know that George Harrison was an amazing guitarist. He was, but you know, so many of their songs just aren't guitar heavy. You know, just like I don't know." See, like, a Guitar Hero Rolling Stones was, like, the obvious leap there. I mean, because, like, Keith Richards, dear God. So. First original sin, now this. Anywho. So, enough about criticism of Guitar Hero. Alright. Although, I have to say that I always thought found it really funny that, like, I, I've known guitarists who, like, would are really bitter about Guitar Hero, because they're like, those people don't know anything about guitar, and it's like, yeah, but they're, they're playing a video game. Like, they're not playing guitar, because, like, I play guitar. And, like, and also, I'm, I'm decent at Guitar Hero. Not great. But, uh, yeah, it was just like, they're not the same. And only an idiot thinks that they're the same, you know? Like... Although now they have that, like, the crazy new guitar game where you plug in a guitar. I don't know. Whatever. I don't think I'll be playing that. I'm having too much fun playing goofy stuff like this. First original sin, now this. All right, and obviously these enemies are enemies we've seen before. They didn't, they didn't bother to program anything unique like angels or anything like that. So, and you have six hits on the side. We have a life bar, and uh, I think after, I think it it heals in between rounds, so we actually could take, you could take like twenty hits right. in this Way to hurt fight. God's feelings. So. All right. And the I am instead of the we again. I know, I know they showed that before. And like, and now we're on like the the Matt Groening level enemy. So and the the recent enemies. So there's Bender and and Zoidberg and stuff. My former roommate hated Zoidberg. Loved Futurama and just couldn't stand Zoidberg. Like every every time Zoidberg appeared, you could just see him cringe. It was really funny. Anyway, all right. And this is not that hard. It's really not. So, you think a fight against God would be harder. But we have had harder boss fights. Take the heat. Stay oh, we took, we took a hit. Wow. We're not done yet? There we go. Okay. Oh, awesome. Alright, I won't be talking much through this, because... This explains everything. Destruction of our town and give us some answers, or these save games go in the drink. 
No, my save game, stop! I'm on the final boss fight in Oblivion! I can't start again from the beginning! Okay, I'll do whatever you want. I thought so. His, oh, his memory card has infinity thank megabytes. That's awesome. All right, uh, God, uh, God, is it? Jeez. Time for some answers. Who are we? Here's the bad news. Your video game characters. You were designed by computer geeks and cubicles to run around and yeah, we got controlled that. by other computer geeks in their bedrooms. We knew that. Thank you, Bart. Stocks. Yeah. Explain to us the meaning of. He just call them Birkenstocks. Okay, those computer geeks who control you. Thing is. They're part of a video game too. Wait, what? You see, the planet Earth is my most immersive, detailed video game. Yet. Wait, huh? And I play it 24 hours a day. It's great. You can get out of your car, have a family. I even put in a complete and wholly consistent fossil record for the nerds. So, the Simpsons game, your game, is really nothing but a mini game inside my Earth game. Oh. What do you think about it? So, not only are we not real, we're characters inside a minigame inside another game. And the people playing us right now are the characters inside the big game that you're playing. So your game characters watching uh, the results of a game character playing a video game? A minigame? Okay. Well, why did you let me find the instruction book back in Springfield? Doesn't that mess up your whole system? Oh, totally. Oh, totally. That was like a complete accident. <laughs> Rock you like a hurricane. Look at God's apartment. It's got cinder blocks. Like, to hold up the thing his TV's on. That's hilarious. The L and R button or what? Ah, screw this. I'm getting a beer. I bet you God has awesome beer. Oh, Alright, so there's the explanation of that. So. Why would he have an instruction manual for a minigame? Oops. Oops. Ain't gonna cut it, Mr. Glowing Visage, beautiful beyond all description. You gotta make this right. Relax, relax. God, I feel really, really super bad about That's all nice. This. And I seriously want to finish Oblivion. I like that he curses to himself, too. He's like, God, I feel really bad about this. Put Springfield back the way it was. Okay. And let us keep our awesome powers. Improve yeah. the world. Why the game's not gonna keep going? All video game characters. Grant me three wishes. Fine, fine, I'll do all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'll make games less dangerous for the characters. I guess games have been getting too violent. Huh? <laughs> like a Marge is right. One thing. Do you ever wonder if you're a character in a video game? Well, that's that's just dumb. I mean, stop being dumb. Like that, stop being wow. dumb. All right. And it all comes full circle. Someone's looking at me! Or in a giant loop or something. Okay, uh, here are all of our cliches. We did get them all. So, um, and this is essentially, this is the end of the LP. So, we've done everything. We beat the last boss. We went through the last cutscene. We got all of our cliches. That was what we set out to do. Um, so there's that. Hooray, Simpsons game. Well, as hooray-ish as the Simpsons game can get. Uh, so, see you in another LP. I'm glad, uh, you know, you stuck around for this. And you guys uh, take care. And, uh, yeah. So, next time, new LP, new capture card, new software. Hopefully, far better video quality. Yay! So, from Vertical Sandwich, um, you guys uh, take care. I hope your holidays were good. And I will talk to you in some other video game. So, bye everybody!